Wow, it feels like so long since I've done this. Oh, it's gonna take some getting used to it. Hi! I have my little notes that I've been keeping in this little book and I'm going to keep notes in this for the rest of the year, I think. Um, and then I'll have a series of cryptic little messages that I can look back on in years to come. I'm so excited for this project, I really am. Um, like, as soon as Jesse uploaded his video, I just wanted to make a video, like, straight away and just get it out there. You know, I just wanted to reply to him. And then Neil made his video and it just made me even more eager, so I'm so glad this is happening. I'm really excited about all this. This is awesome. Jesse, I loved your Antarctica video. I, I especially loved two things in it. One was um, a photo of you sitting, like, on a rock while there's this massive mountain of Penguin behind you. I thought that photo was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I loved the photos that you put up on your Deviant Art as well. They were wonderful. I also liked um, the bit that comes <laughs> a minute or two into your footage where this really fat penguin just really slowly sits down, just rolls down in such a lethargic and slow way. I'm interested to um, know um, what your trip to Antarctica has made you think on the subject of global warming. Um, did you speak to anybody there who was like concerned about it? Did it make you more concerned about it? Um, things like that, when I think of Antarctica, I consider it very icy. Lots of icebergs and things like that. And I was wondering if they are disappearing, if people there are worried about this. And basically, yes. That's what I was. Yes. I liked how you thought it was a bad idea that we have challenges, you know, because they've been done to death, and I couldn't agree more with you. Um, I thought that was good, um, that we don't necessarily shoehorn challenges into this, but then immediately after you said that, you posted a challenge to have a beard growing competition, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I really don't want to shave this off and start again. I really don't. <laughs> um, this took, I think, about two months to grow, something like that. So um, if either of you have a bigger beard in two months, you guys win. But I really don't want to shave this. <laughs> I really don't want to shave this off. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Um, if you guys want me to shave off, I will. Neil, uh, I am very jealous of your Digimon the movie soundtrack. That cracked me up. I used to love Digimon when I was a kid. I used to run home every day to watch Digimon. Um, fun fact, um, there was a girl in my primary school that I was kind of sort of seeing in a kind of boyfriend-girlfriend-esque relationship, you know, or at least as much of a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship as you're capable of having at 10 years old. And I used to like hang out with her after school and stuff. <laughs> um, until CITV, which is like a kids broadcast um, in the UK, until they started showing Digimon every day. They used to show it once a week and that was fine. I could just not hang out with my girlfriend for that one day. But then they started showing it every day and that eventually led to the downward spiral of our relationship. So, yes. Uh, Digimon was awesome. Lots of revelations um, so far this year. I was very surprised that um, Jesse doesn't watch YouTube videos very much because that's all I do ever um, and then that made me realize that's probably why Jesse tends to have things to talk about also new smokes which is amazing news to me I did not know that um, but he doesn't smoke anymore he's given up um, and I'd like I think that's a good idea smoking is bad and I think it would be a good idea if you on every Saturday, shall we say, on every one of your Saturday videos, keep us up to date in your week of smoking. Um, and I want you to be very brutally honest with this, Neil. If you've smoked, I need you to tell us. I want you to tell us exactly how many cigarettes you've smoked every week until you are completely over them. And I also like your idea, Neil, of um, asking questions um, for the other two um, every day. I did want to do that. But I figured it would be best to let the first week 
rule on before I suggested it, so I'm very glad that you suggested it before me. Um, you s asked me what my dirty little secret is in regards to music slash movies. I don't have any dirty little secrets because I'm unashamedly proud of everything that I own, so I had to kind of think from an outsider's perspective as to what probably should be my dirty little secrets. And I came up with, for music, the Lazy Town Series 1 soundtrack. Um, I don't care if you think it's weird that I own this because Lazy Town is fucking awesome. And so is this. Um, as for um, my movie, I've chosen Hulk Hogan's Mr. Nanny. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about this, but I've decided not to because I have decided that this is going to be our first triple review. So, if you guys don't own this, which I don't think you will, um, go and buy it. I looked it up and used on Amazon, it's like two dollars. So there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't buy Mr. Nanny and then we'll have a triple review of it. Now for my question for you guys. I would like to ask you, what, if anything, are you currently reading? Currently, I am reading My Legendary Girlfriend by Mike Gale, um, and I don't like it. Um, how, how far am I to? Um, I'm 190 pages of, oh god, it's so long, 352. So, I'm over halfway, but there's still so much of this book I've got to go, and I don't really like it. It's a kind of holiday read, if anything. Um, there's not really much to it. And I don't enjoy it. I kind of wanted to have it finished by the time I was doing this video, because then I'll be reading a Will Self book, which is better. Um, but, so it goes. To sum it up, you guys have to buy Mr. Nanny, and you have to tell me what you're reading. Jesse, I'll see you tomorrow.